Burn a little bit. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Are we talking about winter gardening here? Yes, yes. Hey, well, a lot of things are going on in the garden. You know, gardening's not stopped. You know, a lot of mistakes people do is let these leaves pile up. You know, and when what happens is they get so much moisture there, and they're, they're not going to. It's not good for the grass. Okay, blocks of light. You know, and does allow the heat stay in, but you want to make sure you run the lawnmower, rake them up. You know, keep the grass in good condition so it's going to spring back. In the, in the spring, you know, quickly. So, also the biggest mistake people make, especially with these cold, cold temperatures, you know, we have to make sure we apply the water to grass. You know, you want to water once a week, and make walk out there, stick your finger in the dirt. If it's moist, it's in good condition, you know. Over applying is not really as critical this time, but you don't want to waste water. It's been so dry, other than yesterday, dry, it's been dry. so dry. Especially if you live on a windy site where the wind's blowing over, drip. Desiccation, the cold, will definitely going to kill the grass. It's definitely going to die. Some of the things you can do when you're uh, doing the cold time of the year, as you know, it's not so hot. You can get some of this lawn sand, and this lawn sand is made for taking those low spots out of your grass. And uh, you want to put it down about an inch, and it's going to level that area out. And put about an inch now, and about an inch in the spring. This is, you know, so you won't come down into your lawn mower and maybe scalp that edge. So putting the lawn sand leveling. The area is always a good idea. Another thing you could do, you know, those little 10 by 5 or 5 by 5 areas that are, you know, just seemed like you could never grow grass there. What I've been doing is testing every time I find a little spot along, and I'm finding there's a lot of nematodes in there. And not to a level that it's lethal, but, you know, there is a high level, okay, in the combination of fungus. What, what nematodes don't like is, is organic fertilizer. So this is what I've been doing to repair those people, uh, the spots on those people's lawns and repair the spots in my lawn. Sometimes it helps. I get some uh, green edge. This is available at uh, Ace Hardware. It's mill organic kind of material. Very, very organic. Nematodes hate organic okay. fertilizer. So I put down about an inch of this. Lay it down about that thick. The next thing I do, if I have a small area, is get some earth nourisher potting mix and uh, planting mix and lay that over the top. That's going to create a moist area for the grass to grow. It's organic. It's going to drive the nematodes off. And you're going to put your sod right over the top of that. And you should, you should get re good regrowth in the spring. And how many times do you say you have to apply this? You only have to apply this one time. You put about an inch That's on it. That's it? Okay. An inch. Then put this on about an inch and then put your sod down on there, okay. and you should get complete recovery. Then you gotta make sure you put a good enough of this so you don't have to come to it again. We